So, I'm out here at a job today in Newtown for an iPrimus customer who's with MBN Fibre to the Node. Now, basically, uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the MBN just stopped and they didn't know why. They sent out a couple of texts um, and the MBN texts um, basically just, actually one come and he just sort of said, I've got to go outside, he never come back. And the other one, I don't think he could work out what was going on. So I'm down here in the MDF. Now this customer, uh, he's, you can see here, there's like a 50 pair or whatever um, internal cable that's going through to an IDF. So his cables from his apartment go to an IDF and then they show up on this, this cable here and then they're coming down onto here. Now, what I have found, I have my um, tester connected up to the A side. All right now, I'm trying to get a bit of light on this so you can see what's going on. But you can see pair number two, all right? My cables are on pair number two. But also on pair number two, there's these cables. All right, so someone's come, a tech, you can see here, right? Pair number two, if I, I'll just try and get this better so you can see. Yeah, if I do this, you can see that they're connected to pair two. And this is connected to pair two. And these ones are connected over the top of my cables. And these are new ones. And you can see these are old jumper cables. So somebody has come into the frame and put on another um, pair directly on top of our customer's pair, right? So I've just checked on here and now we're getting focus in on that. So we've got a video cell signal here right? and we're getting 51 down and 22 up. So this is his because the way I know this cable here right, was connected. <coughs> Let me just uh, get my toner so I can show you. But you can hear. One second. Let's do this. So you can hear Here's my tone, right? My tone's on this cable, right? And that is the one that is going up into the this cable here, which is going back to the IDF. That was connected down here onto pair number one here. And on the other side of that was connected these cables, right? So that was popping through there. So I've disconnected it because I just wanted to get on the actual cables themselves. So now that means there's probably somebody else in this building using this customer's service um, or it's not their service is not working at all either so i'm going to disconnect that second um, pair the one that was just recently put on and give it back to our customer so if there is somebody in here um, that is working and using that service they're going to lose their service but that's no through fault of mine that's be whoever the tech was here who made this mistake he's uh, made a mistake and given our customer my customer um, he's, he's, he's tried to share the service with somebody else. So I'm now gonna disconnect that and then um, connect everything back up. And hopefully that works, but I'll, when I go upstairs, I'm also gonna check just to make sure that we've got good insulation resistance from the socket all the way down to here, okay? All right, so I'm up in the customer's apartment now um, and we're getting 47 uh, down and 22 up. Now I did a insulation resistant test from down there to up here and it's all within specifications. So by removing that second cable, which would have caused the bridge tap on the line and was sending off a service to another apartment, which was done by an MBN tech um, or MBN contractor, then uh, yeah, as you can see now, the service has come back on. So removing that bridge tap has done it. So basically, how many techs have you had out here from MBN? Three. Three techs. So he's had three techs out here, all right, and each time they couldn't get it sorted. But they've sort of advised him that the problem must be internal, right? So all I have found today, this was actually a contract, MBN contractor uh, mistake. They've put, as you, I showed you down there before, they've put um, a cable for another customer onto my customer's service, which caused the bridge tap, which caused everything to drop out and just not work. 
So by removing that cable, this has worked. Now this customer has to pay for my service today. Um, so because this is an ambient fault and the three techs that come out, they should have picked this up. I picked this up within like 10 minutes of being down there. Um, this customer should get a full reimbursement for the cost of my service call today. So I promise, sort him out.